Okay, lesson 6-6, six dash, dash six, finding the area of irregular shapes. Okay, so we have found the area of regular size squares and rectangles using, um, you know, if we multiply the top by the, by the side. So we want to look today at how do we find the area of a shape that's not a perfect square, a perfect rectangle, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to make them perfect squares or perfect rectangles, okay? So for this one, we're just going to take and we're just going to draw a line and we're gonna make this into its own little box here. And this one, okay, which will leave us with a, a third box up there, okay? We're not gonna worry about this. This is not part of the box. Remember, our shape was originally shaped like this, okay? All of this over here doesn't count at all. So, we wanna find the inside of the yellow part. We know this is seven across. This whole line right here is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we know See how they tell us that this line is two, which means this line is two, this line is two. So if we know this whole line is six, this is two, and this is four, right? Four plus two equals that whole line of six. So four times seven equals 28. And here we have two times two, so there's four, and two times two is four. And then we are going to add them all up, 28 plus four plus four, to get our total, because this yellow box is 28 plus four plus four, okay? So eight plus eight is 16, carry the one, so it's 36 square units. And because they didn't tell us feet or inches, we just have to use square units. Okay, so let's take a look at this one right here. Okay, so we have, it, it's kind of the same shape. Oops, sorry. It's kind of the same shape as this one up here. It's just that we have, um, they're just different dimensions, right? Oh, I think they're the exact same dimensions. Um, so let's see. We're just gonna, we're, they just want us to show us how to break it down a little bit. I see, okay. So we're gonna divide the shape into rectangles. Okay, we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did up here. So go ahead, pause the video, do the same thing, and you calculate it out. Okay, so you should have drawn a line right here and drawn a line right here. Okay, and if this is two times two, that's four. If this line is two, then this line is two and this line is two, right? So that's two and that's four. If this whole line here is six and this is two of it, then that means this is four, okay? So 28, so we have four times seven equals 28 feet for this top rectangle up here. Okay, that's our four times seven equals 28 because we have four and seven, that's 28. Then we have two squares right down here, okay? So we have two times two, which equals four, and two times two, which equals four. Okay, those are our two squares at the bottom. Then we add them all up. 28 plus four plus four equals 36, okay? So the area of the irregular shape is 36 square feet. Okay, so let's take a look at this one right here. It says on the back, but we can do it right here. Find the area of the irregular shape by counting unit squares. Then find the area of the irregular shape by dividing the shape into rectangles. Okay, so first what they want us to do is count. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so we know it's 20 square 
units. But we know that that is super easy to make a mistake on when we are counting like that. So let's divide it up. There's two ways you can do it. You could draw a line right like this, okay? And you could make this into one square, one rectangle here and one rectangle there, okay? So they don't give you the sides, but you can use the, the grid boxes here, right? So this is two, this is two, this is four. Down here, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six. So see if you can calculate the area inside of each one of those rectangles. Okay, good. You should have 12 and eight, and 12 plus eight equals 20. Now, there's one more way we could have done this one at the bottom. Let's just take a look at it. Imagine if I drew the line like that. So I made, it's really a square and a rectangle. So I want you to pause the video and calculate the area of that. Okay, so you should have four and four, which is 16, and then you should have two and two. It would have been the same if you did, you know, two here, two and two, but two times two is four, and then you would do 16 plus four is 20 square units. So it doesn't matter which way that you uh, break up these shapes, as long as you're breaking them up into squares and rectangles and you're calculating the area of each one and then adding them up. Okay, good job.